Okay, so just as a quick introduction, this is a new Bible study system that, as I will probably repeat in this video, in the narration of notes, it's done by probably sincere people who are sincerely misled and wrong. This is another system that tries to get you from reading the Bible on your own. And this is a crafty tool that Satan will use to brainwash anybody to think. They have to go to man for answers instead of the Holy Spirit and God's perfect text in the King James Bible. Watch the video clip and you will see how crafty Satan is to try to make something look good, but it becomes a tool under his belt. So I recently got the Bible study and in it, it is the Old Testament and the New Testament and they go through the whole study within a whole year and it talks about how it relates to you. So first I started off, I start off with the Old Testament and I, within like the first like week, I've learned so much than just reading the Bible on my own. So it really provides an awesome structure. Um, and it's pretty too. So when you dig in, it will map out each week and you go at your own pace, but it really helps me stay accountable and um, it, it guides me through my quiet time, which I absolutely love. Y'all have to check it out. It's the Bible study from the Brain Sunday. First of all, let me just explain that I believe every Bible study system were created by at least some sincere people who were perhaps overzealous and religious that desire to teach people the Bible. I believe that just about every Bible study system can help you understand at least the basics about the scripture. Like how many books of the Bible there are, how many chapters, how many verses, the overall understanding of both testaments, some archaeological and historical discoveries, etc. One source that I have used in the past when necessary is Halley's Bible Handbook. There are a lot of sources that can help you understand the Bible, but only to a point. And that point is where you need to stop relying on sources made by man and rely solely on the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth of righteousness and doctrine. And this is where every Bible study system, including this one, falls short. And I will show you that every Bible study system has secret aces up their sleeve that they don't want to get out and reveal to you. Because if it did, you would drop their system like a bad habit. Her statements and the simple background of the system online will reveal to you these secret aces of deceit. So I recently got the Bible study, and in it, it is the Old Testament and the New Testament, and they go through the whole study within a whole year, and it talks about how it relates to you. So first, I started off, I start off with the Old Testament, and I, within like the first like week, I've learned so much than just reading the Bible on my own. So it really provides an awesome structure. What? Red flag alert. She thinks this system teaches her scripture better than just reading the Bible on her own. That's the first major red flag she said. In other words, she's against sola scriptura. Meaning of it. Sola Scriptura, Latin for by Scripture alone, is a Christian theological doctrine held by most Protestant Christian denominations, in particular the Lutheran and Reformed traditions, that posits the Bible as the sole infallible source of authority for Christian faith and practice. John 14 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. In the same chapter, 14 15 to 17 If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Love for Christ is conditional upon our obedience of his commandments. John 16 7, 13 to 14 Nevertheless I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. The Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Is there truth outside of Christ in the Bible? The Bible, yes, but Christ? No. He is the Creator and all truth comes from him. Mankind didn't invent mathematics, science, languages, etc. Christ did. All those topics and others teach the truth about their subjects. What about truth about God in the New Testament Church? 
Do we need to go to a New Testament church building or denomination to find out what that truth is? No. The Scripture is the truth about God in doctrine. And it's not an accident that it's called Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth just a coincidence? If the Bible is not sufficient, then why would Jesus refer to the words of God, Scripture, Him being the truth, and that we can know the truth and it will set you free? Even these Bible study systems cannot answer that. Acts 17 11, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the Scriptures daily, whether those things were so. They searched the Scriptures daily. Why didn't it say they sought the priests or scribes or teachers or pastors or church-building denominations? Because they knew the Scripture was sufficient. Otherwise they would not have searched them daily. It's interesting that the Bible tells you to revert back to it and gives examples of those who did. But then stuffed shirt lying money hungry people, like to these Bible study systems, will tell you to go to a church service or go to the commentaries or word study helps or these Bible programs for answers. Very opposite agendas. Going to the Bible only will cause you to humble yourself and glorify God. Going to man for answers and religion of the world will cause you to exalt yourself and glorify mankind. 2 Timothy 3 15-17 In that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Paul even told Timothy who knew the holy scriptures that it was the scriptures that made him wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. It wasn't a church building, it wasn't a denomination, it wasn't a religion, it wasn't a creed, it wasn't the so-called five fundamentals of the faith. It was the scriptures. If the scriptures are not sufficient, then Paul would have told Timothy that he has known the holy scriptures along with the teachers and priests and popes and scribes and Pharisees, which were all able to make him wise unto salvation through faith in Christ. I guess Paul didn't care very much for religion of the world. John 5 38-39 And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Isn't that interesting? Jesus said they didn't have his word abiding in them because who God has sent, they did not believe. Then he tells him to search, what? The Pope, the priests, the scribes, the Pharisees, religion a church building, a denomination, a creed, or the basic fundamentals of the faith? No. He said, search the scriptures. If the scripture is not sufficient by itself he would not have told them to do that. Also did he say, the Pope the priest describes the Pharisees religion a church building a denomination a creed the basic fundamentals of the faith all testify of me? No. He said the scriptures testify of him. John 16 13 Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Remember this verse? 1 John 2 26-27 These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Who is the anointing that we have received? It's the Holy Spirit. The Bible is clear that we do not need any man to teach us because simply the Holy Spirit is our perfect teacher and leads and guides us into all truth. I don't need somebody to teach me the Bible. Now if you are a new convert, then yes God uses teachers and pastors and evangelists etc. to teach you at the beginning and point you in the right direction to the Bible to find the answers. Those are godly Christian men. However religious men will always recommend or suggest the Bible, but more strongly emphasize going to man for answers because they want to be gods and the final authority. Sola Scriptura is biblical. But some of you say, well the Bible does not say the Bible or the Scripture is efficient enough. That is true. But the Bible also does not say to go to man for answers for truth. And I know that's what you are emphasizing by rejecting the Bible being the final authority. Therefore if you're going to be consistent with that, then not only do I not need the Bible, but I also don't need any church or religion or denomination or mankind to tell me what truth is. Are you going to go that route and be consistent? No of course not. Then you have no case and no logical consistent reason to reject sola scriptura, as in the Bible is sufficient in the final authority of all matters of doctrine and righteous living. I was a brainwashed blockhead Baptist for 15 years. I was reading more books, commentaries, listening to preachers, than reading the Bible itself. 
and when I did read it I barely understood it, unless it was the basic fundamentals of the faith or the overall understanding of scripture. But it wasn't until I left the church building and stopped reading commentaries and study Bibles and notes etc., that I really started to understand scripture and the Holy Spirit began to teach me. Going on with her wrong statements. Um, and it's pretty too. So, when you dig in, it will map out each week, and you go at your own pace, but it really helps me stay accountable, and um, it, it guides me through my quiet time, which I absolutely love. Y'all have to check it out. It's the Bible study from the Brain Sunday. Oh, I absolutely will check this out, and you will see that this system may have been created by some sincere people. But ultimately, it's just as corrupt as every other study Bible ever created by humans. It's meant to make merchandise of you, in buying the truth and selling it, which violates scripture. But also it's their crafty way of brainwashing you to believe that you have to go to mankind for answers from scripture than just relying on the Holy Spirit and reading the book on your own. So I clicked on the tab that was on this ad. And what do you know? It took me to the main website and a side tab quickly came across the screen. Do you know what it says? As you see here, it says, $5 off your first purchase. Who said anything about purchasing anything? That woman surely didn't say anything about it. Of course not, because that's how they con you. If you really want the truth you have to spend a little money. What about this verse that says to buy the truth and sell it not? What are they doing selling it for? It's to make merchandise of you. Because they care more about making money, than preaching the Bible literal scripture truth to you. It says, get updates on new products, sales, and more. So they are going to give you updates of how to make more money off of you. How touching. How humble, scholarly, and godly these people are. Give me a break. Then when you get rid of that side tab discount, it says, click to see inside. Oh but first, you have to spend $38 in order to see what's inside this, sacred special Bible study system. Talk about a crafty con artist. What about that? Proverbs 23 23 by the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom, and instruction, and understanding. John 2 13 to 16 and the Jews Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changers of money sitting, and when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep, and the oxen, and poured out the changers money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Jesus was not too happy about them turning the temple into a mall to shop at. 2 Peter 2 1-3 But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. If you ever come across a Bible study program or people selling Bible studies, avoid it. Now I understand you have to pay a little money to get a good quality King James Bible. It shouldn't be that way, but unfortunately it is what it is. If you profess to be a Christian and you are selling Bible study programs, you're a crooked thief. Matthew 21 12 13 And Jesus went into the temple of God, and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Church buildings that had Bible book stores, selling items, had made their church building and exposing it to be a den of thieves. But let's look at some details about this special system. Description Reading the Bible can feel overwhelming. The Bible study helps you journey through the Word while relating and retaining Scripture like never before. Make studying the Bible simple with our one-year study roadmap, weekly guidance, and beautiful imagery and design throughout. In other words it's their slithering snake way of telling you, come to us for answers about Scripture. Don't read the Bible on your own, because it's overwhelming and a burden. The Holy Spirit cannot be trusted to teach you. We are your perfect teachers. So come sit under us and let us brainwash you with our creeds, denominations, and ecumenical agenda. You can smell this manure just by looking at their ad. Next section to expose. What is the Bible translation? You can use any translation you'd like alongside the study. We reference ESV, NASP, NIV, NLT, and the message throughout. And this is the main problem. Use any translation you like. In other words, they don't believe in having the certainty of the words of truth. 
Proverbs 22, 20-21 Have not I written to the excellent things and counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee? 2 Timothy 3, 15 And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. According to this Bible study program it's overwhelming for a child to know the scripture. If that was the case, then why is Paul commending Timothy for knowing the scripture since he was a child? And how was the scripture able to make him wise to salvation through faith in Christ? Was it through a Bible study program, rabbis, pastors, evangelists, teachers, especially Bible correctors? No. Paul goes on to reveal what is really profitable and valuable. Verses 16 to 17 All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. If all scripture is profitable for all these things, then why do I need to pay $38 for this Bible study program? John 16 13 Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. What is the truth? Christ in his word is the truth. 1 John 2 27 But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. I don't need anybody to teach me. Therefore the Holy Spirit is my perfect teacher and all I need is the scripture text. Nothing more, nothing less. What is the main objective of this Bible program? to stop you from reading the Bible on your own and discourage you from even thinking of doing it, because they want to be their own God so you can always go to them for answers. It requires money to learn anything from them. Lastly, whenever a new Bible version comes out it usually says something like, this Bible version is better, revealing the word to you than ever before. Of course this program says, like never before, because they want you to think this program has all the answers. But you see, the next program that comes out, will say the same thing for that program and every program created in the future. It's their way to sucker you out of money so they can make merchandise of you, 